Hello everyone, it's me again and today here we have Samsung S22 Ultra and Oppo Find X5 Pro. And why those two are here? Because we want to compare them and exactly we want to compare One UI 5 Android 13 by Samsung and ColorOS 13 and Android 13 by Oppo. Which is best, which is better, you can choose at the end of the video. So let's move on. So guys, from here you can see that Samsung S22 Ultra is using One UI 5, Android 13 and this is Beta 4, probably the final bet. and this is ColorOS 13, Android 13, which is here. You can see both devices are using Android 13. I will just try to compare the everyday usage things like the lock screen, the home screen, you can compare both operating systems. But of course, before we continue, if you are still not subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon down there, so you will never miss a video when I upload it. Alright, let's move on. So now both devices are with turned off screens. This one is showing here a picture, a polar bear, a clock, a date and the battery and notifications. Here it is the same. So. We can agree that here the always on displays are almost the same, just with the latest beta, Samsung are implementing a new feature coming to lock screen. So now we can go further and check the lock screens. You can see how it's look like here and how it's look like here. And if you hold your finger now on Samsung device. Alright, it's asking for a pin of course and now you can see we can customize our lock screen here on the Samsung device. Here on the Oppo, if you hold our finger, you can't do this. Of course, you don't have that option here on Oppo device, but here on Samsung we can customize it, we can customize the clock, we can make it with different uh, font, with different style, different colors, we can customize the wallpaper from here, notifications, contact information and the two shortcuts. Here the lock screen is just the standard, you can customize these two shortcuts you can remove the one and just leave the camera. This is the major difference with the lock screen of these two devices. And now we can move to our home screen. Of course, both devices with their fingerprints are of course very fast, but here on Samsung we have the ultrasonic one, which I think is better because it's working almost all the time, even with wet fingers. But here on Oppo, it's just an op optical fingerprint. I don't say it's not good, it is good, but it is just not good as this one on Samsung device. So when we are here at the home screen, of course we have the folders, we have the standard clock, weather and so on. Let's first start with the folders because they are a little bit different here. Here on Samsung, if you tap on folder, it will open the folder and if you tap on that small circle, you can just change the colors of the folder and just make some improvements. But here on the Oppo, if you tap on the folder, it will just directly open the folder and you can't make any edits here. But what you can make on Oppo, let's just check the animation on both. The animations I think are very good. Here the background, the background blur is a little bit different. Just uh, the folder background is more blurish, but here the whole background is blur which is better, of course, you decide. Here, on the Oppo, what you have, if you hold your finger on a folder, you have that option now, a large folder. Firstly, this option was implemented by Huawei and their Harmony OS. So, you have now here a large folder. What's the main difference here? You can tap directly on the apps. You can scroll them, you can see, and you can tap directly on the app. For example, I will open Google Translate, Let's just tap on it and you can see it will directly open the application. No need to go inside the folder. Let's tap on the files and it will directly open the files. Here, you just need to open the folder and tap on the application. Of course, you can shrink the folder and make it smaller again here on the Oppo. This option is missing on our Samsung.
Here, like on every Xiaomi, on the Oppo is the same. I hate that thing because the difference between the Chinese and the global ROMs are making me crazy. Because we have new widgets, but of course they are missing here on our global version. We have here just the standard widgets. Let's just go to widgets and you can see we have here the standard widgets. That's what we receive with the global version. Here on the Samsung, if you tap on widget, it is almost the same, just they are in different sections. For example, uh, you have a calendar widget and if you tap on the arrow, it will open both the calendar widgets. This is how Android 13, stock Android 13 coming with pixels are working. Here, this is the old type for showing the widgets. I will not stop to say that this is the global version because as I already explained you we have a lot of difference between the global and the Chinese version. I don't know why Xiaomi are doing this always from years but here on the Oppo I see they are doing the same. So this is the widget menu. These are the recent menu, it is almost the same. We have here the recent uh, applications down there and you can scroll like this. But here we have uh, here the last used applications and of course we have the recent same as on Oppo. Nothing spectacular here. If you swipe down you can see your toggles and here this is the difference coming with ColorOS 13 you have big toggles for Wi-Fi and mobile data and also you have your music player here always showing here on Samsung it will be shown here down here below the device control and media output uh, toggles and here it is always showing if you swipe one more time more toggles will reveal and of course left or right swiping will show more toggles here on Samsung if you swipe down and left or right same but you have here more toggles for calls you can change from which sim you are trying to call you can change from which sim card you can send messages and also you can switch the mobile data from a different sim card Let's move it up and uh, let's play something so I can show you what's the difference in music players. And now let's just go to my home and swipe down. You can see here we have our music control. And if we tap on the arrow, we have here a bigger buttons. Here it is on notification center always. On Samsung device, you can change the media output directly from here and here on the Oppo if you tap here on that small phone icon you can change the media output let's go in settings what we have here of course you know how one UI is working if you swipe down one more time everything will go down here on the Oppo it's not the same you have uh, different stacks here for, for every section they are separated. Now this is came with uh, ColorOS 13. For one UI this is maybe for two or three years. It's like this. What we have about the wallpaper section. Let's just do it like this. Select here wallpapers, wallpaper and style. And here we have a color palette on Samsung device which is coming with Android 12. Now it is improved with Android 13. A different color palettes which are Depending on your wallpaper, you can see we have a bunch of colors here, basic colors and so on. Here on the Oppo, it's just in different menu. You need to go in settings and select wallpaper and style. And from here, you can pick the colors. So we have a coastal, alpine, you can see trendy, classy, geek neutral and of course you can select here a wallpaper color picking and you can select a different points where you can select the colors that you want all right 
and each time you change the wallpaper new colors will be applied so by doing this you can apply different color palette depending of your wallpaper here of course you can make the custom ones you have the option apply palette to up icons if you select it of course it's not working we are using android 13 already and this feature is still not working why samsung why google why oppo i'm just not sure here we have that option too but you need to hold your finger on the home screen and from here select icons here select a custom and here finally we have that option match wallpaper colors it's still in beta of course like here like on pixels like from two years it is what it is anyway you can see the option here is a little bit messy you need to go in different sections but it is available if you want it you can find it of course only the stock uh, icons can be changed let's go again to wallpapers here oppo created an interesting live wallpaper let's tap on it it's called the blossom one and what is doing we have that you you have that growing flower and it depends of your screen on time if you tap here you can see you can change the colors the seeding stops growing and then starts to wither when you go over your screen time goal so you can put a different screen time goal and the plant will grow or it will just fade or so on depends of how much you are using your screen i like when someone is trying to put something new on their phones i think that's enough for the everyday usage if you spot the difference and if you want to make the more comparison between the two operating systems or if you want something specific to be checked of course i will make that for you just let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and have a nice day